Welcome to A Guide to Every Deck in EDH. Today we're looking at Marin of Clan Neltoth. This is one of the earlier commanders printed into the commander exclusive commander deck sets. Not the earliest, but one of the earliest. This also used to be one of the best commanders around. Not so much anymore, but it's still powerful. So what does Marin do? She's a 4 Monogle Gari 3-4. Whenever another creature you control dies, you get an experience counter. And at the beginning of your end step, choose target creature card in your graveyard. If that card's mana value is less than or equal to the number of experience counters you have, return it to the battlefield, otherwise put it in your hand. So at bare minimum, it disentombs, it raises dead, it gets back a creature from your graveyard into your hand. But once you start getting experience counters by having your creatures die, it directly reanimates them. So the obvious implications of this are that we can find a way to get a bunch of experience counters as quickly as possible and then either reanimate giant bombs into play or just use it as a value engine to keep getting creatures back either into our hand or onto the battlefield. So our card draw is fairly straightforward. Bolus of Citadel, Necropotence, Null Perfusion, and Recycle. Skull Clamp is obviously gonna be great in this deck because we want to trigger Death, Sylvan Library, and Yawgmoth, which is gonna be part of combos. Then skip over combos for now. We've got Fast Mana, including Blood Pet, which is both Fast Mana and a way to trigger Mareth. It also is a one mana creature that can come back directly onto the battlefield using uh, Marin's ability. So at minimum, if we have like Marin already in play and then we play Blood Pet, we can just sack and then immediately reanimate it since this will give us one experience counter. Lightning Greaves to make sure Marin has protection from removal spells. A bunch of lands, including Phyrexian Tower as a way to sack creatures. More protection from Allosaurus Shepherd and Veil of Summer. We've got a whole bunch of ramp, including a bunch of mana dorks. Basically every single mana dork we can play in this deck, we've packed in here because we want creatures that we can sacrifice to various effects. And we want to get Marin out as fast as possible. Some reanimation because, hey, if we're playing a bunch of big giant bomb creatures anyway, or just combo creatures anyway, we may as well reanimate them. And if we're going to sack creatures, we may want to just reanimate them and then potentially sack them again so that Marin can get them back. So we've got Animate Dead, Dance of the Dead, Life and Death. Either all lands you control become one ones until end of turn, or just it's reanimate but for two mana, and only from your own graveyard. Persist, reanimate, victimize. Some removal, Haywire Might is gonna be particularly good in this deck because it's a card that we can sack to exile an artifact or enchantment, and then we can have Marin bring it back directly onto the battlefield and then sack something else. Orcish Bowmasters, Yawgmoth, and then Punishing Draws with Bowmasters and Shieldred. Let's make sure to change this to English. And a whole bunch of tutors, so Beseech, Demonic, and then anything that involves sacking, so like Diabolic Intent, Natural Order, are going to be better than they normally would be. And of course, putting things directly into the graveyard, so Entomb, Unmarked Grave, Fauna Shaman, Survival of the Fittest, those are all going to be helpful as well. And then we come to the combos. So there's a whole bunch of different combos in the deck. The main one is going to be Hulk Piles, so Protean Hulk, is a well-known long-time commander combo card. It is a seven mana creature that says when Protean Hulk dies, search your library for any number of creature cards with total mana value six or less and put them onto the battlefield. So the obvious thing to do is find a way to cheat Protean Hulk into play, immediately sack it, which we can do. We have a bunch of different sack outlets in the deck. And then Protean Hulk will find us a way to instantly kill our opponent. So let's say that we have Protean Hulk. We can either cheat it into play using Marin or using one of our various reanimation spells, and we can get it into our graveyard in the first place with Entomb, Fauna Shaman, Survival, Unmarked Grave, however we're getting it in, or we can Natural Order it into play. We then need a way to sack it. So we can just have like a Viscera Seer, or maybe like Phyrexian Tower, maybe we have Ashnod's Altar in play, whatever way we have to sack it. We're gonna sack the Protean Hulk, and it is going to fetch the following creatures. Disciple of the Vault, Lesser Masticor, Malira, Viscera Seer. So what does this do? So Lesser Masticor is a creature. Ignore all of its abilities except for Persist. That's the only one that matters. We have Malira that says creatures you control can't have minus one counters placed on them. And we've got Viscera Seer as our sack outlet. So with these three creatures in play, it doesn't have to be Viscera Seer. It can be any sack outlet, but Viscera Seer is, the, is a sack outlet that we can fetch off of Protean Hulk. So we sack Lesser Masticor, Persist triggers, and it comes back, but it comes back without a minus one counter on it because of Malira. So this allows us to sack Lesser Masticor infinitely. Then with Disciple of the Vault, whenever an artifact dies, you may have target opponent lose one life. So this triggers every time we sack Lesser Masticor, so we, mil so we drain out all of our opponents. You could use any other form of graveyard or of uh, death triggers like Zulaport Cutthroat here, for example, but it's not fetchable off of Hulk because you need exactly six value or less, which 
Disciple, Masticore, Melira, and Viscerous here is exactly six. If you already have a Zulaport Cutthroat in play, then you don't need the Viscer then you don't need the Disciple, but otherwise, you always want to be able to go fetch up the exact combo. Now, the downside to this, of course, is that all of these cards absolutely suck when they're alone. So Viscerous here is good outside of that combo, just because other combos involve sack outlets, but like Disciple Lesser and Lesser Masticore and Melira are all garbage when you don't have that. So it is a downside to playing combo pieces that are bad when you don't have the entire combo assembled, but that's what we need to do for Hulk piles. And these are not the only Hulk piles, there are other Hulk piles, but this is like the best, most efficient one that we can play in Golgari colors. So then of course we've got Yawgmoth, which in combination with anything that drains our opponent on death, such as Zulaport Cutthroat, allows us to machine gun down all of our opponent's creatures. Of course, Yawgmoth also combos with Hepatra. Whenever a whenever you put a minus one counter on a creature, you create a snake with death touch. So you can sack the snake, target an, opposing, target an opponent's creature, triggering Hepatra to make a snake, then sack the snake, target an opponent's creature, etc., 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 drawing cards like that. Zulaport Cutthroat will negate the life that you're losing off of activating Yawgmoth. Also, if you've got Lesser Masticore plus Malira, you can sack the Lesser Masticore infinite times with Yawgmoth as well. Then you've got Ashnod's Altar. So Lesser Masticore plus Malira plus Ashnod's Altar is infinite colorless mana. Also Razaketh. So this is a big reanimation card that because it can tutor by just sacking stuff and paying the life, you don't have to pay any mana, can just assemble any of these combos by itself as long as you have enough creatures to do it in the first place. We've got Core Tapper and Magistrate Scepter. So Core Tapper is tap, put a charge counter on target artifact or sack it to put two charge counters on an artifact. And Magistrate Scepter is three mana, four mana, put a charge counter on it or tap, remove three charge counters from it, take an extra turn. So. If we have Marin plus Magistrate Scepter plus Core Tapper, as long as we have Core Tapper that's not summoning sick, we go tap the Core Tapper, put a charge counter on Magistrate Scepter, then sack it to put two charge counters on Magistrate Scepter, then presumably we have enough experience counters to directly reanimate it, or even if we don't, Marin will just put the Core Tapper back in our hand anyway. So we take an extra turn, we go to our end step, we trigger Marin, we get the Core Tapper back, we take our next turn, we get the Core Tapper. So if we had the Core Tapper in directly into play. We're now on our extra turn. We can then tap the core tapper to put the charge counter here, sack the core tapper to put two more charge counters here, remove the charge counters, take an extra turn. Voila, we've got a combo. We take infinite turns with Magistrate Scepter, and then we can use those infinite turns to either just attack our opponents to death or find one of these other combos. So that is the main combo there. We also do have Sensei's Divining Top, which can combo in certain ways with the deck. So obviously we've got Bolus's Citadel, which in combination with Top means that we can Tap, draw a card, put top back on top, and then we only have to pay a single life to cast it off of the Bolus of Citadel. Technically not infinite because we don't have infinite life. However, it does allow us to draw an absolutely gargantuan amount of cards. And if we do have another combo at some point, we can then find one of those combos. Like if we're drawing, you know, 30 cards off of Bolus of Citadel plus top, I think we're probably good and can find some other combo. Uh, also, if we have like, so obviously, you know, any combo where we're sacking creatures triggers the Zulport Cutthroat, but if we're sacking Lesser Masticore, that also triggers Disciple of the Vault. So like Ashnod's Disciple, Lesser Masticore, Malira will also combo to infinite drain the opponent. So again, there are just multiple ways of comboing here, but the main ways that we're going to combo are either Marin plus Core Tapper plus Magistrate Scepter or Hulk Pile. So Hulk into... Disciple, Lesser Masticore, Malira, Viscerous here, or we're going to set up one of the Yawgmoth combos with either Disciple, Zulaport, or Hepatra, or another Sack Outlet. Or we use Razaketh to just assemble all of this. And then even outside of these combos, Marin is just really good at generating value by putting creatures back into play for free. And we just got a bunch of good card draw spells as well. So that's Marin. We can either be a sort of mid-range ramp deck. Like there's other things we can do, like, you know, keep recurring Haywire Might over and over, although it's only one at a time, but just keep recurring Haywire Might and then eventually just kill our opponents via either value or one of these combos. So that is Marin of Clan Nel Toth.